We have this one, and we have this. Now instead, where you did a broken shot, he brought it to his right side, Scott's gonna bring it onto his left side here. Still the same motion, you boom, but we go here, onto this side here. Okay, so now we go like this. Same, same, but now we bring it onto this side here. Just for the sake of the drill. Now at this point here, he's gonna come back with a number two slash here. So, when he comes back with a number two slash, again, I'm gonna look for my outside line group tank. Here. So again, I take this space here. If I stay here and I try this, it might still get the cut on him, but then, if my timing is off or I miss, this goes through. So again, the extra safe, be on the outside as far as you can. And the base that hits will make more square, so you square it with the hit, so you have more distance between your force and this. So, you go like this. This is your one, this is your two. Bring it back to this side. Now when he goes for three, first plug here, and we have a low here now. Okay? So it's kind of like a one, two, three. So we go like this. One. Two, three. One, two. Three. So, if you find yourself doing this one, this is what you want. Where knife is on one side, hand on the other. Try to avoid doing this if you can. And sometimes you can't. You know, if you're really tight, but this has to come first to do this. You can mix around with it. But if you're at a good distance where this can come first and then this one assists, you go ahead and do that. If you're too close, then this one can assist. You don't have enough room to get this first. Go here and then follow through. Just don't cut yourself. Okay, so just be a little uh, mindful. Of so again, option, option, option. Right here. Right? That's your little shot. Okay? Find a new partner, try to 